each year, a confirmation student is given a Bible verse and it's prayed over and thought through. And so we thought of your verse and it's from Acts 17. For in God we live and move and have our being. And I wanna read the explanation. Roe, God has given you such a gift to share as you have your love and your talent of dancing, of moving. God made your whole self and sustains your whole spirit. God made you so powerful in your ability to lead others, to move others into new ways of loving their neighbors. That is such a beautiful part of your whole being. If ever you feel far from God, I hope you come back to this verse and find your comfort where you need. So there's the Bible verse. And so this is your Bible verse. It is from Isaiah 40. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And the reason we chose this is for someone as active of for someone as active as you are, a verse connecting faith and physical activity seem to fit best. Keeping your hope in God is like a great rest after pushing your body. It's renewing. On your walk or run in faith, I pray you'll come back to this verse to draw strength from whenever you feel weary from the journey. And so I'll give you that verse. Yeah. When I was picking out yours and praying about yours, and I wrote all yours out, and then I looked back at what I gave to your brother, and they are the same verse. <laughs> so I thought about changing it, and then I thought, no, there's something in that. So you and John can work that out. <laughs> um, but your verse is from Isaiah 41. I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners, I have called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As I listen to your stories about faith inspirations, it's clear that you see God is with you and your family. And extend that thought to with you to chose you as well god has great things in store for you so do not fear what god will do in you god will help strengthen and uphold you thank you you're welcome yours is from micah 6. what does the lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Hannah, I see you in every aspect of this verse, with love, mercy, humbly, and ask, acting justly. All you do in your life is with the integrity of each of these characteristics. As these are deeply rooted in who you are, I know you will only grow in each of these throughout your life. I'm so thankful for all you do and I am excited for all you will do. I pray this verse will help ground you in hard times. And so I would like to read yours and the reason it was chosen. Yours is from Colossians. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for humans. Brian, as I've seen you do through your art and many other activities in your life, your heart is a driving force in you. God knows, sees, and gave you your passions. Never doubt those passions from God. And if you need a little assurance, ask. Talking to God is through trusted humans in your life as well as through prayer. You have many trusted humans around you and supporting you, helping you find God's work in your life. So Colossians 3. 